Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is April 10th. Uh, we did have a big USDA report out this morning. Uh, we got to see uh, the new carryout numbers uh, after we've uh, after we got the acreage numbers from USDA uh, last month. And uh, the big surprise is that corn they left it unchanged. So I know we've gone through some of this this morning. Uh, 801 million as far as carryout in corn. Uh, beans sitting still at 250, a little bit better than what the trade had expected uh, today on beans, but certainly better on the corn. Corn ended up 14 and a quarter lower in old crop corn, so that's where we found a lot of the pressure today. Uh, beans down about five cents in old crop, but down 17 and three quarters there for November. So under some pretty good pressure there. This is the first time. I mean, if you look at that May chart. And we did come up, we made some new highs, we got up just above that 1450 area, and then we backed off. Uh, we closed more than 20 cents off of those highs. Um, it was an outside day down on the chart. So on another lower day tomorrow, uh, that chart could be uh, looking a little bit weaker. We've got to really pay attention to that. Uh, as we talked before, old crop, uh, old crop beans, uh, probably a little bit overpriced right now, but certainly not looking at any stocks as a reason uh, to be where we're at. China did come in and buy some, some beans today. Uh, we continue to make some sales there. Export sales have been good. Demand has been good. And until that changes, uh, we still are going to find support here at some lower levels. But uh, a little bit negative day on the chart, and uh, we'll see if we catch a little follow-through from that. The dollar up 20 cents, uh, so that helped pressure commodities today. That dollar is back above 80 again. We're sitting at 80.12 right now. Uh, the crude oil down about a buck thirty, so under some pressure at this point. Uh, that sits at 101.15, so we still have not broken below that hundred dollar mark yet. Uh, but we are seeing some pressure today, uh, and the stock market falling back 192 points at this time, and that's uh, kind of following more of a negative start for the week. But uh, but right now still under some pressure. The metals gold up 17. Uh, probably due uh, to a lot of pressure that we're seeing in commodities. Usually the gold finds a little bit of strength right now. Silver up about 15 cents, not really doing too much. Uh, but livestock, fat cattle down about a buck 60 for April. That is in delivery. You got June's right now down a buck 50, following suit. Uh, still finding more pressure. The trend is down. The two most trending markets right now are the beans, which is up, and cattle that are down. Uh, we're sitting at 114.30 right now uh, as far as the Junes. Uh, we have hit uh, a lot of targets that guys have been watching, but we've done it early. Uh, we're, we're at these levels very early, and um, we could continue to see some pressure. As I said, the trend is lower right now. We need to see if we can catch uh, some good support in here, maybe see if the market can rally a little bit. But as of right now, uh, it doesn't look so good uh, on the on the cattle end. Uh, on the hogs, down about... 50 cents uh, for April, down 40 for June's, did find some pressure, but hogs a little different story. Uh, if you look at a chart there for hogs, looks like we're still trying to find a bottom in here, and um, we've been getting a pretty decent rally off of the, the lows that we had seen. Uh, prices look pretty decent out there, but uh, a couple stronger closes there for hogs could signal more of a bottom in here and could get a little bit more of a jump uh, as we go into those summer months. So we're still a little bit friendlier on those June, Julys, and August, and looking for more upside there as well. Um, uh, we did put out our new price projections uh, for those subscribers that are out there as far as uh, as far as the cattle. Uh, the subscribers will be able to get a chance to, to look at that updated information. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to our research, please do that. Uh, you can give us a call or do it right there online uh, and get signed up here today. And uh, we'd be glad to walk you through it if you need some help to, uh, to get that information. But check us out right there, allendale-inc.com. Or take a look at or give us a call. We'll help you out at 800-262-7538. Hope you guys had a great day today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.